Welcome back. Okay, so I've just got been kind of confusing myself and doing things, and I've been doing it, and it's been working, but I didn't know it was working. In fact, um, the um, I didn't realize that I had these uh, the box uh, colliders uh, as a screen, as the thumbnail for my last video, and or you know the video before last. And then the last video, I went ahead and, and redid this, and then um, redid the screenshot. So for for uh, the last video, is going to be basically this. It's okay, because I haven't really learned anything new. In fact, it's nothing different here, except let's go ahead and remove the box colliders. Remove component. So now there's no box colliders on any of these. Now, if I... Um, add a mesh collider right now it doesn't look like there's any mesh here and I'm like what's going on remember I was kind of confused um, but uh, it, if what you do is you do this now you can see back wall that zero 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 is uh, it's the actual mesh but at the same time it's also the the collision mesh right so basically all of these have their own collision meshes, see? Obviously, um, when I do an actual scene in a game, I'm not going to actually have multiple floors and all of this stuff. It's going to be the small one like you saw in the earlier videos, um, a little bit, maybe wider but smaller. and. Uh, and uh, the floor and will be one piece, and the walls will be one piece, or you know what I mean. I just mean um, it won't have so many objects and stuff. It'll just be whatever is required for the scene. Um, so it's cool because I now I can use a mesh collider, although I don't necessarily need to use a mesh collider. I can just do what I did with the boxes, and uh, that should serve for most of it. Uh, I might do it on a case by case basis. I don't know. We'll we'll see. But to, to be sure, um, all of the um, all of the deals have a a uh, um, all the deals have colliders on it now. Actually, I want to do something here. Cam oh, the actual camera is like this, and this is my view camera. So that's why it's like that. Okay, that's fine. Um, okay, so let's save it. And here, let me just go ahead and run it real quick. And as you can see, it moves where I click it. Now, I don't know how to make it go faster. I will know sometime, but I don't know right now. Okay, that's an interesting... Thing. Why don't the back walls have colliders on them? Or why can't I click on it? Can't go any further than that. Oh, that is because of the nav mesh, right? I keep. Whoop. Why did I do that? I keep forgetting that once we go into navigation, so it's not going to be able to go to those back walls. However, I could no, because it would just go to the edges, huh? So that there's definitely a thing there. I might want to um, hmm. is interesting because what I what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to eventually let's say we have a painting on the wall you should be able to click on the wall it should move there it should only move as far as to the wall um, 
that's interesting. You can only click on the nav mesh. So I'm going to figure that out. So how do I make it to where, um, right, it's excluding that as an obstacle, right? Because if uh, if I made the, like the step or the slope or whatever higher, then I'd be able to like leap over that. You don't want it to leap over, but you do want it to be able to click and to move over. Um, huh, yeah, that's interesting. That's an interesting little problem because um, what you could do is you could um, show height mesh. But um, what you could do is um, is not make these walls part of the collision, right? Or the, the nav mesh, I should say, not the collision. The, they could still have its colliders. But if I wanted to exclude that um, out of the nav mesh obstacles, like I would just want to just do the floor itself. Um, if if I was able to do that then if you even if you click on the wall it'll go up until the edge of the nav mesh but at the same time it'll actually go through the wall so you don't want your player going through the wall but and also you want to still let them be able to click outside of the nav mesh area so how do you handle that one i wonder hmm maybe somebody could tell me that's a little bit confusing. Um, hmm. So let's say have a floor. So you have a room and you generate your nav mesh and it doesn't go past the walls because those are obstacles. Um, but you need to, to be able to click on the wall because maybe there's a mirror or portrait hanging there. You don't, you don't need character to move past the nav mesh, but still be able to detect that you clicked, clicked there. I suppose um, you might would have to create a script because um, I'm probably still clicking on like it's probably still sees the wall as the the clickable so the raycast probably still works on the wall but so I'm gonna have to get it to like um, if I click on maybe the output the debug to um, actually um, you know to log it to actually see what you clicked on. Let's, let me check my script here. And input get mouse button raycast hit. Now hit point. Of course it's not going to be hit point. But at the same time. Well that's not true. There is going to be a hit point. Your destination's there. But it only goes as far as the nav mesh. So. Um, agent dot destination equals hit dot point let's see something here what if I hit hit not uh, normal point which body texture coordinate to string transform collider collider dot now is there a name to the collider or something or oh dot game object that it's assigned to oh 
dot right compare tag but you just want you just want the name or the text or whatever it is dot name string okay so I can display that now I forget how to log because it's been a while since I went through the tutorial to log um, let me see something here let's try to go to roll ball because I always kind of tend introduction no instead let's go to John Lemon Haunted John Okay. Come on. Oh. No, what I wanted I wanted this. This over it. Oh, inspector. That's what I want. Okay. Okay, that's not a big deal. But all okay, right. So, um, right. I was gonna re see how to log. Okay. So I guess I guess I'll stop here and I'll see you in the next video where we'll we'll log where we're clicking and I'll see if it reports. It should just re, it should report the name of the game object is attached to like wall Q point zero zero three or whatever. So let's uh, I'll see you next time.